another day, another problem. All right, so I got this VVOR dividing head that uh, I got a while back because I don't have a dividing head and I'm learning machining, right? New hobby I've got. And I wanted to learn on something that's kind of cheap, easy, and without spending a bunch of money, right? So uh, I got this thing off Vivor, picked it up pretty cheap with a coupon code, whatever. And I'm just curious on the run out. And so what I've got here is a three jaw chuck. I have a half thousandths um, dial test indicator. Um, and then I have a, a Deltronic pin half inch in there. And I wanted to just see what the run out would be uh, and then figure out a way to basically refine that run out where I need to because it's a, a chuck, an adapter plate, and then it's screwed onto the um, uh, threads here. I've already tested the threads. Uh, it has zero run out. Uh, so that leads me to believe that the adapter plate is out of round or the back of this chuck is out of round. But just for shits and giggles, right, when you get this out of the box, this is what I got for run out. So we got it set on zero. And I'm just going to slowly turn. All right, so we got one thousandths. Two thousandths. It's coming back down. So I got roughly. Do it again. Here. Zoom in. There's one half, two, almost to the other half. So I got about back down to zero. One. Almost two and a half thousand. So we'll just call it two and a half thousandths. And just so that uh, yeah, two and a half thousand. So I went ahead and marked. So if that's the high spot, right? About right there. 180 degrees from that. I went ahead and marked the areas between here and here where the High spot would be that would possibly pull that back down to zero. So we're going to try to see what what I can do between here and the adapter plate uh, to try to move it straighter in line. I mean, again, it's, it's still not bad for Chinese junk, you know, two and a half thousandths of run out, but I feel like I can get it better. So let's pull this off and, and see. We'll put some die chem on it and rub it around uh, and see if there's a high and low spots. Before I do anything else, I went ahead and put the back plate back on, screwed it back on, and I want to test the back plate surface where it meets the back of the uh, three jaw chuck here. So let's zero this out, add some tension to zero. Close enough. All right, and we're gonna spin it around. Hold there. Uh, let's see what kind of run out we have on the back plate. So, zero. 
Andrew, a little less. Almost, it's looking like half thousandths that way. thousandths just on the back plate so we got a half thousandths run out on the back plate not too bad but I think I can get it better all right so I went ahead and marked the areas that were high right it's between these two marks here and what I plan on doing is using some lapping compound I've had this for forever the clover loctite brand it is 600 um, and I'm gonna put a little bit in between these two marks are right here, and I'm just gonna work it back and forth just to see if that changes anything. Um, if not, then I'll try something else. But at this point, I'm just trying different things to see if I can get this back plate to be perfectly matched with the mating surface on the back of this chuck here. So, all right, stay tuned.